Hello everyone, welcome to this morning stretch routine. Today we are gonna be flowing quite slowly, but sometimes that can mean it's a little bit harder as we really take our time with the transition. So just be aware it's a kind of slow and steady practice today. We're gonna start seated, so maybe that's kneeling, maybe you prefer to sit some other way. Relax your hands onto your knees or your thighs, palms up or down, whatever you feel called to this morning. And when you feel ready, close your eyes. Take a breath in just to sit a little taller. Open the mouth and sigh out. Good, deep breath in. Sigh out the night's sleep. Welcoming yourself to the mat. and welcoming yourself to today's body. So just taking a little scan, noticing how this body feels. Checking in with our energy levels. Maybe any underlying mood. Before we get moving, let's just take a moment to thank ourselves for carving out this time today. And as we move through this practice, let's have a kindness and compassion towards ourselves. Starting to deepen the breath, breathe in through the nose, out through the nose. Using just the breath to energize the body here. Good, when you're ready, blinking the eyes open. Let's take a nice big stretch of the arms up and overhead. Grab a hold of one of your wrists here and then pull yourself over, finding a nice big side stretch. Good. Breathing in deeply so you open out through the rib cage. Good. Inhale through center. Grab a hold of your opposite wrist and then pull yourself over. You might find your hips want to tip to the side as well so you get that nice big stretch. Waking up the sides of the body. Lovely. As you inhale, come up. And then as you exhale, bring one hand across, one hand behind, finding a little twist here. So inhale to sit tall and lengthen. Exhale to draw navel to spine and find a deeper twist. Good. Inhale, reaching the hands high. And as you exhale, come over to the opposite side, draw navel to spine. Really following your breath this morning. So as we move through these shapes, breath is going to be pushed into different areas of the body. Wake them up and refresh them. Good. And then as you inhale, come back through center and then let's find an all fours position. Good, spread those fingers nice and wide, soft elbows, cat cow. Inhale, sway your heart forwards, look up. Exhale, round it out, look to your big toes. Nice, inhale, drop your belly, stretch the tummy. Exhale, round, really push those shoulder blades apart. Wonderful, good, and then come to a neutral place with your spine here, spread your fingers wide, tuck the toes, and then hovering the knees just one inch off the mat. Push the floor away, so you really like push your shoulder blades apart, there's a little kind of mushroom shape <laughs> through that upper back. Breathing freely here. Relax the jaw, <laughs> notice if you're clenching your teeth. Good, breathing in. And as you exhale, find downward facing dog, sitting bones up towards the sky. So first one of the day, whatever you need to do here, if you want to take a little pedal through the feet, absolutely your choice. 
very nice. Good, and then find a few moments of stillness here. So feet are about hip width apart. If you're feeling tight in the back of the legs today, softness through the knees, prioritize length through the spine over getting the legs straight. Lovely. As you inhale, let's come forwards to a high plank position. And then as you exhale, drop the knees, untuck your toes, and then you're gonna slowly lower all the way down, sliding your hands forwards. So now your elbows are underneath your shoulders rather than your hands. And we're in this little sphinx position here. Good, relax your feet. And see if you can slightly drag your hands back towards you so you feel that opening in the chest. Good. Shoulders are away from the ears, so just notice if you're kind of like this. See if you can be active with it so you're pushing the forearms into the earth. Good. Take a breath in. As you exhale, look all the way over your right shoulder. Can you see your right foot? Take a couple of breaths there. Breathing into the neck. Good, inhale through center, exhale all the way over. Can you look at your left foot or as far as you can? Breathing into that little twist through the neck. Good, and then inhaling through center. Good, then look up as far as you can or as is comfortable for your neck. As you exhale, drop it down, chin to chest. Good, inhaling up. Exhaling down. Good, inhaling up. Exhaling down. And then bringing your head to a neutral place, looking forwards. Let's slide the hands underneath the shoulders now, nose to mat. Big toes together, push back to child's pose. So that's going to lengthen through your lower back after being in that Sphinx back bend for a while. Good. As you inhale, all fours. Exhale, downward facing dog, sitting bones to the sky. Lovely. From here, let's begin to tiptoe the feet towards the hands in as many little steps as you need. Feet a hip width apart or maybe a little bit wider. And then just allow the upper body to hang. Whatever you want to do here, if you want to take a little rock. Let the head go, really just see if you can convince your neck muscles to release, even your facial muscles too. Good, soften through your knees and then slowly, slowly roll up through the spine. As you inhale, reach your arms up and overhead, gather up that energy. As you exhale, hands together at heart center very nice big toes touching energize through the legs now take a breath in reach the prayer up to the sky and then as you exhale fold yourself in half bend the knees as much as you need inhale hands onto your knees or your shins find length in the waist as you exhale plant your hands step your left foot back as far as it goes so your left foot is back planting the left hand down reach the right hand up towards the sky into this twist. Option to drop the back knee if you need it. Otherwise, strong through the legs, zip up through the belly. That right hand is gonna reach all the way back, coming into an open or big twist here. Good, option to stay here. Maybe some of us bring our back hand to our back thigh as the top hand reaches up towards the sky or you're welcome to stay here too. Good, as you inhale, legs remain the same, but reach both hands high overhead into high lunge. And then as you exhale, drop the back heel, opening up the arms, finding a warrior two shape here. Good, slightly tucking the tailbone under for your glutes really working. Strong and steady breath here. Lovely, deep breath in, long breath out. Flip your front palm, inhale, reach forward, reverse it back. As you exhale, right elbow to right knee, top hand up and over, or your right hand to the inside of your right foot if you wanna take it a bit further, or onto a block. Just 
strong back leg. Good, breathing in. Exhale, let's bring both hands down to the inside of your right foot, spin on your back toe. So now we're in this kind of lizard position. Feel free to drop the back knee if you need to. Otherwise, step it back to a plank here, breathe in. As you exhale, lower down, option to use the knees. Inhale, lift the chest up and through. Exhale, lower down, come back to downward facing dog. Lovely, breathe in, breathe out. Good, inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. As you exhale, step or jump to the top, toes touch. Inhale, half lift. And then as you exhale, fold, relax your neck. Inhale, rise up, gather up that energy. And as you exhale, take it all the way down with you, nice and slow and steady. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. You're going to step your right foot back long this time. Plant your right hand down onto the floor as your left arm reaches up. Good. Strong through the legs, strong through your core. Now really feel into your feet here. Stable through the legs. Zip up the belly and then that left hand is going to reach all the way back as you come into the twist. Option to stay here or maybe your back hand reaches for your back thigh. The front hand reaches overhead or you're welcome to stay here. Don't worry if you're shaking and wobbling, it's all good, we're all learning. Good, legs remain the same and then inhale, hands reach up and overhead and forwards to your high lunge. As you exhale, drop the back heel, opening out the arms into warrior two. So deep bend in the front knee, nice strong back leg. Good, flipping your front palm here. Inhale, reach forwards, reverse it back. As you exhale, left elbow to left knee lightly. Top hand reaches up and over. Or maybe we bring that left hand to the inside of the left foot or onto a block. Strong through the legs wherever we are and see if we can turn our chest to face the ceiling. Good, deep breath in. Exhale, look down. Now we'll all bring our hands to the inside of that left foot. You can shimmy it over to the left if you need. Spin on your back toes or drop the back knee. And then on your in breath, whenever it comes, step to a plank. On your out breath, lower down, option to use the knees. Inhale, lift the chest into your up dog or cobra. And as you exhale, coming back into downward facing dog. Nice, breathe in, breathe out. Good, from here, dropping the knees, coming to all fours. So that was quite a strong <laughs> part of the practice. So come back to your breath. We're coming into puppy pose. So walking the hands forwards, dropping either the chin down or the forehead down. Using gravity to your advantage here. Softening through the face. Good. We're going to take a little funky transition here. So you're on your forearms. Now you're going to slide your body forwards. So we're in that sphinx position that we did in the beginning. So you might need to shimmy your hips a little bit here. So you want your elbow right underneath your shoulder. Good. And don't worry if you didn't quite make it there in the same way. As long as you end up here, it's all good. Good. From here, tuck your toes, lift up through your core. We're going to find a forearm plank from here. So when you're ready, push into the earth. Really like feel that stability around through your lats and your shoulder. And then lifting up, pushing back through the heels. Now push your shoulder blades apart. There's a little mushroom back there. Nice. Good. From here, you're welcome to stay here. 
or begin to tiptoe your feet towards your elbows a little. Now you can keep your legs straight or if you need to bend them, that's absolutely fine. But maybe we get a little hamstring stretch here as well into a dolphin shape. Good, so warming up the shoulders for the day. Getting nice and strong, warming up the core. Keep lifting up through your pelvic floor. Relax your face, breathe in. As you exhale, drop the knees, untuck your toes, rest it into child's pose, well done. Hands can come back to the heels with the palms facing up. Allow your shoulders to drop to the sides. Well done, everyone. Good. Reaching your hands forwards now. You can keep your knees narrow if you prefer, or take your knees a little bit wider. So your big toes are still touching, but your knees are quite wide. And then you're going to slide your left arm all the way underneath your right armpit. Come onto your left cheek. Now you might want to use your right hand just to pull that arm across and lean back into that stretch. Or you can press into your right hand. Breathe deeply and you're going to open out through the back of that left shoulder. Well done, good. And then switch it on over so the left arm out, right arm through. You can use your left hand to with the wrist to pull it through or press into that left hand in front of your face to breathe into the back of that sh right shoulder. Good, and then bring it out in front. Let's come forwards to all fours, tuck toes, find your downward facing dog, sitting bones to the sky. Lovely. As you inhale, bend the knees, look forwards. As you exhale, step or jump to the top. Inhale for your half lift. And as you exhale, fold, relax your neck. Good. Inhale, rise all the way up. Reach your hands up to the sky. Bring your toes together, your heels together. And then come onto your tiptoes. So lifting those heels. Find your focus, find your balance. Bring your hands to your heart. And then slowly, slowly, imagine your back was sliding down a wall here. Your sitting bones are going to sit onto your heels. Coming into this toe stretch, balance. Very nice, super slow, draw your belly to spine. And then rolling over the feet, Sitting bones down, fingers and toes up off the mat. Good. From here, let's wrap our either our hands or our forearms underneath the back of our knees and just take a little roll out through the feet here. <laughs> so that little toe stretch might give some of us like cramping through the feet and the toes. So just give them a little free movement there. Well done. Very nice. Good. Zip up through your core. Point your toes, and then you're going to bring those arms away. Breathe in just briefly. As you exhale, soles of the feet together, landing them down as close to you as you possibly can. Sitting up nice and tall, breathe in. And then as you exhale, forward folding. So no pulling with the hands here, just leaning into it. Good, smooth breath in through the nose. Long breath out through the mouth. <sighs> and then slowly coming all the way back up, closing up the knees like a book. And then find a comfortable seat here. So maybe that's cross-legged, maybe that's kneeling. Rest your hands with the palms up or down, absolutely your choice. Close your eyes. 
and begin to listen in. How does the body feel now? Notice how your mind feels now, maybe a, a little clearer. Deep breath in through the nose, breathing in life, clarity. Open the mouth, let out doubts, worries, confusion. Good, deep breath in. Let it go. Hands together at your heart. Really thank yourself for carving out the time today to look after not just your body, but your mind as well. Thank you all so, so much for sharing this practice with me. And when you're ready, opening the eyes and welcoming yourself back into the rest of your day. Thank you so much for joining me for this. If you enjoyed it, please do give it a little thumbs up or a comment below. I keep tabs on the ones that get the most likes and comments just because I know that's what people want to see more of on this channel. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I shall see you again soon.